Hello and welcome to the weekday cast, live cast, of the third round uh, tournament of position match between Zero Doom and Jake Armstrong. I am Opie Wright, here with my co-caster Pwn Noob. Howdy howdy. And our host, a bear, who is the silentest of hosts, and we love him for it, so uh, you won't be hearing him talking, but uh, me and Pwn Noob, we do uh, enough talking for him as well as both of us, so there'll be no problems there. Right now, we're getting into the draft between these two players. Zero Doom, as the higher seed, is going to be able to choose both uh, to pick map first, and we'll see if he decides to spy or snipe first. Yeah, to give some context on what's on play here. Uh, so Jake has already got himself promoted out of Challenger by winning his uh, last week match, uh, beating... Uh, Wodar, actually, of all people. Uh, now they're both playing. They need to win this match and uh, win the next match, and they can get promoted to bronze. Uh, bronze obviously being a huge jump there for Jake, going from Challenger to bronze, but it's also uh, desirable for Zero Doom because uh, he's in Copper currently. Yeah, Copper gets that. Uh, you know, does not have... Their, their matchups in the first round, that is the only spot they can fight for uh, in the top eight of the tournament of position. Lose, win, win, win is the only way you can get a promotion out of the actual placement in tournament of position that will get you seventh place and into, uh, no, rather, sorry, sixth, uh, fifth place, fifth place is the correct one, and into bronze. Um, and Zero Doom is looking to try to do that, as well as Jake yeah. tonight. On the topic of Jake's play, while we're still waiting for this uh, draft to warm up, uh, he almost beat Turnout in really the closest result you could possibly uh, expect. It was it was tied, and uh, Turnout won with a bit of refing decision at the end, uh, and then has went on to beat Wodar, who was the number one seed in the tournament, to get here. Uh, Zero Doom uh, did beat, uh, I believe, Duckett? Uh, no, JD. Uh, JD. No, beat yeah, JD. Beat, beat JD from Obsidian, the second seed from Obsidian. He was uh, quite handed, too. Uh, he, he took it with a pretty dominating lead, if I recall. Uh, now, I'm not sure who's going to go into this as the favorite. I'd actually be inclined to say that they're pretty even. You know, I'd say that Zero Doom is just a, a slight favorite just because of, you know, 6,000 games... Uh, compared to not, I don't, I think one and a half thousand from Jake. But you know, we've seen so far in this tournament of position that the number of games is not always indicative of who's actually going to be winning a set. And uh, okay, it looks like Zero Doom's having a bit of issue with the drafter. If they have to do it manually, I mean, I'll ref it. But uh, Jake's not in the lobby. Uh, he's doing the draft from uh without logging in for whatever reason. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get these issues. Yeah, okay. They're running like draft code. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna grab a new draft code from uh so we can go see what, what's up with that. They both joined the room, so it does appear to be working. All right. Last okay. So looks like there we go. Zero Doom wants to spy first and pick venue first. So we'll see the first band coming from Zero Doom being Balcony. Any two of three does not want to play the swingy maps, but Jake answers right back with a Tayen ban. Neither of them wanting to play those swingy venues. Yeah, probably the two most typical bands that we've seen all season, just because they're the two most polarizing maps. Uh, they're rapid, they're there, rapid firing these. Oh yeah, they, they're just they're just running through this draft really fast. Oh my goodness, Zero Doom picks gallery, Jake picks courtyard for their doubled venues. Both of those very skill testing, very you know, you know, very sniper favored ten, uh, tends to be. Then Zero Doom kind of breaks a little bit. From the 
uh, trend of no swingy venues picking high rise while Jake picks ballroom, a personal favorite. Uh, where, and they finish off the draft with Zero Doom picking aquarium and Jake picking library. Sharks and poles. Sharks and poles. Hopefully we get there because it is the end of the set with the aquarium and library. Uh, the most important, obviously, being the doubled, which will be gallery and courtyard, which are both. Um, like there's a good chance that we could see some spy wins early and someone could take a nice strong lead. Actually, we've got yeah. a lot of those maps. Ballroom's also pretty 50-50. Aquarium. The ballroom is the 50-50, uh, one would say. 51% spy, 49% sniper, I believe, uh, historically throughout SCL history. So, well, we, we could be seeing a lot of strong play and a lot of, you know, breaking away from the other player uh, on that first single round with high rise and ballroom, depending on you know which which one of these players can actually make that happen. But first, before we get there, we have gallery. Gallery, one of the most popular venues this season, I believe. Yeah, so it wasn't as popular when it was old art, and I think a lot of the veterans never really transitioned into making it their their preferred map when it became new art. A lot of the newer guys do really like gallery. Um, it gives a lot of something. I think it's a different feel from other maps in regards to the, the, the vertical sense versus most maps you're looking left and right. Gallery, it's all straightforward. Yeah, you can see the whole thing at once, but there's also so much to look at at the same time. Plus, it's kind of hard to see things in the back unless you start zooming in, which then you're leaving the front unguarded. Uh, but it's kind of a very... It's a it's a venue where you have a lot of spy agency as far as what you want to be doing. Uh, as long as this this is important, uh, you do, you have to make sure you're getting that flirt done because on gallery flirt is probably more perilous than an, on any other venue. We have seen I, spies, I you know, multiple times this season, just fail to complete a game because of that flirt, and you know. W even if they would have otherwise won, so. Yeah, I recall a lot of Platinum games uh, just watching my uh, peers where they won the game, but they didn't complete Flirt, which isn't generally going to be your first line of attack. The game is getting started. It's going to be Zero Doom on Spy here as Duke, and welcome to week three of Tournament of Placements. Yeah, something to note about Duke on Gallery is that... Uh, because all of these painting pads have you stand to the side, you know, looking at these paintings on the walls, Duke kind of has a, has a, you know, a unique value on this venue in terms of bugs. When the ambassador is walking, uh, from the back towards you as Duke, you can make a bug as they're passing by and there will be little to no snapback. Uh, because Duke is one of two characters who does not keep his arms at his center when he's just standing at a pad. So, uh, the other one being Kane or Morgan. So we'll see if Zero Doom can make use of that uh, as we head into the spy round. Yeah, starting the game up, we got a, a good 51% flirt, and the suction target did us a favor by leaving. There's been a lot of statue visitors. It's not been a particularly friendly map in the first minute here, and we're done with flirt. Yeah, two greens on gallery. That's going to be, you know, Zero Doom's going to be feeling very, very good about that. We are in the microfilm spot, so we'll see if Zero Doom wants to take that. But having that flirt done this early on, not having to worry about how you're going to complete that, is fantastic for Zero Doom. Does not actually take the microfilm here, though. Might want to go for a bug, but takes the path around the ambassador saying, look at me. I'm not bugging, so nothing happening yet. A lot of what Gallery ends up being is planning. Um, like you are saying with Duke, being in a position to do the reverse drive-by or choosing an angle that's going to be uh, going perpendicular to the, the laser. Uh, when you're playing on Gallery, if you ever take that bug, it is a wave to the camera. You are asking to get shot and really hoping they're zoomed in on something else, uh, which is kind of hard to bet. Uh, Ambassador is going to be the top thing to be watching we do get the inspect here we're gonna likely be doing the other one are you feeling inspect swap here today Opie? 
Well, first we have to get that contact, and uh, just like Flirt Contact can be a little bit perilous on gallery, we do step into a second bookshelf visit, which might look a little bit suspicious to Jake, seeing as we were in that microphone spot the first time around. However, we are kind of out in the open, so Jake can easily guard this if he wants, and if he's suspicious, that's exactly what he's going to be doing, and Zero Doom is actually going to take the book out. Wondering if this is going to end up being a microphone transfer today. Yeah, I'm not living Zero Doom's uh, mission completion at the moment, but looking at Jake's sniper side, there are a lot of highlights. Uh, with something like a purloin late, especially if we get a green, we might just force a shot. Yeah, we might. Here comes the, the contact. It's this green. is fake. There's actually no oh. real DA. Oh, the DA, the, the DA burned us, was in there for just a moment, and then left. And we know it's completely fake as Jake, because both DAs are out of conversation right now. With the DA splitting so late, it's never actually a full certainty. This microphone looks incredibly sketchy if you're watching it. Jake has not shot for it yet, and that usually means he didn't catch it. That's a bug. It's a really weird it's... path, too. If you didn't see the bug, you can likely shoot for the path, because we went green book around the conversation. Alright, here comes our final mission. We're going to contact again. This time, the devil agent is in conversation for us. And the other wait. The white's oh, not what? helping. Oh, no! The double agent splits again, and we time out because the double agent... The, double, okay, double agent splits and then walks right back into conversation. Are you... Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Zero Doom must be just seething after that, you know, getting screwed by that double agent two times in a row. They go straight into the next game, and I don't love that. If you are in a situation where you get a frustrating game, take a moment, go watch the replay. Even if you're not necessarily like a replay watcher typically, just use it as an, an excuse to take a breather. Uh, they're just trucking along. They did the draft really fast too, it's not too surprising. Taft takes a really bug path. No highlight. There's a high. Puts a laser over him. Uh, no actual mission completion here from Jake. Yeah, and something that's interesting is it's very hard to note who might be a suspect for the bug, but if you, you know, like, watch the ambassador think, okay, could this character ha that I've just passed near them, could they be a suspect? If you can pull off a frame on one of those suspects, that is one of the strongest things you can do if the sniper is crediting a bug. So we'll see if Jake is on that. Yeah, the, the bigger the map, the harder it is. Hello, Wheels. Wheels is ridden out in the middle of nowhere. We got things to watch while uh, Jake does nothing. Yeah, yeah, looks like that goodness. was for the briefcase. Yeah, he was doing it over the briefcase. It's either a highlight or a super low light, um, depending on your opponent and how you feel that day. Or you just don't consider it at all, you know? We could just completely ignore all the behaviorism. We, we have a really good banana bread, assuming that the double agent doesn't do exactly what it did to Zero Doom last game. We're not taking it immediately. The bad conversation does have a, a suspected double agent, too. Yeah, we, we have no late. mission. Uh, we have that. options here, Jake, but I think he's just committing to doing nothing. Yeah, we have no mission progress. Luckily, RST comes to us. We get a contact here, uh, finally, uh, as we've been waiting here. We also get this first flirt, which is quite nice for not having moved at all from this front conversation. And a lot of people on gallery will note, okay, who's been in this front conversation for a long time? And, and low light them. The problem with that is, if you're fishing for a low light at this point for Jake, you've still got a lot of work to do, and it's only 1 minute 30 seconds to do it. I generally don't uh, low light for front conversation. Huh. Um, and I low light for everything. So the, uh, the, the real thing here um, that Jake can consider, is he really just going to go for the do nothing? Or are we going to do some time ads? Because you need to do the time ads about now, and ambassadors outside. You've kind of lost the opportunity in that sense. Or yeah. are we just hard rushing late? Uh, we are at least finishing up our flirt in some sense. We're at 68% now. Yeah, we, we, we do decide to leave that conversation. No time ad while this is happening. We might try to go for this walking bug. We are slightly faster than Pearls. This it is, is adorable for taking it. This is, oh, this is the good thing ah. about having Pearls as your ambassador, but he doesn't decide to take it. 
Yeah, really? the angle there would have been very much walking. You'd have to just be based on them not expecting it. And to be fair, you'd never expect that bug. Yeah. Jake gonna Jeez. do a cheese microfilm. Cheese. And break some animations doing it. Which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. As, uh, especially right at the end, there was a bit of jerkiness to that animation. We're gonna green test Purloin. And we're just not a suspect, it looks like, from Zero Doom's point of view. We've been idling for so long that this hard rush in the late game might not Where get caught, but Arresti is moving! The, the chase is on. If she and there's only the seven seconds! Right, no shot for the Purloin. I think we're just gonna time out, we can't get this flirt done in time! Alice is not gonna be- <laughs> Oh no! I, I feel like that's just the game going, I'm sorry Zero Doom, we screwed you. Uh, let's let's do karma. Let let's give Jake the same exact treatment of you played really well at the end there. Hit his greens. It was fantastically done. The cheese was choice, and I like it. Um, and then seduction target just decides to walk the twenty second walk a across gallery, and we don't have like the uh, the know how to go grab a statue and swap it or anything, uh, which to be fair wouldn't have been brilliant anyways. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like we were a suspect at all from, you know, all of that idling we did. Zero Doom just wasn't prepared for the super late game rush, and look at this, no time to go review those replays. Zero Doom not checking to see what did this spy do that got so many missions by me. So... Zero Doom playing another character that has the, the sideways bugs that I mentioned, the, uh, the only other character that has that. In in uh, <laughs> in the game, first Duke now Kane probably gonna look for those. Has the green book in hand right now though. Has a 51% float to start. Going immediately to drop this off into blue. There's a lot of commotion around the area. Toby's offering to Smallman. Other characters are picking up briefcases. I think this is gonna be we're gonna get away with this through sheer chaos in the area. Yeah, we took it out really quickly. Uh, we didn't do an animation or anything. Uh, it's just. The, the chaos book take instead of say chaos bug or chaos swaps which are more common um, it's a good play and unfortunately for Jake if you see a book early and you don't know where it's from you need to put at least some suspicion on on that we don't have a highlight and we're not we only just get the highlight for the inspect I don't think we're a particularly high suspect despite it yeah, if we can get an, a two green flirt here from Zero Doom, that would be a really good opportunity. Just take a contact where you can find it and immediately rush over to statues. Who's going to shoot you for two statues this early in the game? Unfortunately, we do not hit that green flirt, even though the double agent does join us again. Yeah, we're in a situation where uh, General's kind of inside us. It actually is kind of one of those spots where if you purloin, it can be a bit hard sometimes for the sniper to know who did the purloin, especially if you green it. Uh, we still have the banana bread here available, and I'm not sure why we're not taking honestly. This is the most full you can get of that conversation. We do take our Prior second effect. flirt. Uh, wheels did help us out a little bit by moving around there, uh, getting our flirt cooldown done before... Uh, before we take the contact. However, we're still not taking this contact. And yeah. against Jake, who we've previously seen not really bother low lighting for contact, I'm not sure what you're you know what you're waiting for is Zero Doom here. The one thing I don't particularly like from Zero Doom is we had a completely full conversation here in the back. The banana bread was already good, Jason just bread. based on this conversation. And he hasn't really been looking at the front conversation to even see consider the uh, the banana bread. I think he must have another plan, but we already have uh, now three missions with the, the contact coming off. I think we could have done that earlier and we're fine. Locking yeah, we had case. done that earlier and uh, just the on the statue. You could do like reverse. Uh, nope, he doesn't take it. You could do like a uh, wrong arm cane bug on, on that entry into bookcase. It would have been quite and then potent. cancel it with the book pickup, yeah. But we yeah. do step into statues. Looks like the swap's going to be watched. The question is will. Jake take the shot for this, and probably not, honestly. Jake can see that the statue is currently the right statue, is watching for it. It's still the right statue, and Zero Doom gets away with his spy win. Yeah, one of the things I was considering there is, this is Kane. Like, you missed the microfilm, but if there's a character in the game that you maybe missed a bug, Kane, Kane's on that list, he could have taken a shot based on the character, uh, without 
ever having to do a bug. That being said, Zero Doom's up. Yeah, two, one, zero, zero Doom, and now Jake decides to, you know, make a deal with the devil, contract some power for his soul, and steps into the spiral as Smallman. That bug would have been really good. There's no way to really uh, expect any bug that happens between the front conversations and the back conversations. Um, it just doesn't stick. Uh, we do have a drink in hand, which I think might have been part of the reason why it didn't stick. And couldn't quite trigger that bug when we wanted to. Uh, unlike our last game as Spy for Jake, we immediately have a 51% flirt, which, considering how he lost the last game, you know, like, uh, it's a good look. We're doing a no-talk in front conversation, but if there's a conversation in the game you want to no-talk in, gallery front conversation may as well be it. It doesn't get watched half as much, especially when the ambassador's anywhere inside. Uh, Ambassador is starting to put down some fingerprints in places. One goes on a statue, one's going on blue bookcase right now. So that might be something Jake is looking to do, but instead we're going to get that two flirt, and just like the first Zero Doom game, this flirt's already done, and Jake is feeling good about it. I forgot to mention, by the way, we took a drink outside. We should be dead. <laughs> or Lola. Or Lola. Uh, as small men, I think that we don't already have a highlight is... Uh, definitely a decision that been made by Zero Doom. <laughs> now we do, as soon as I say it. But we're going to statues. Uh, this is actually what I uh, attempted in my set against your end. Just the, I'm already going to get low lit, or sorry, get high lit as small men. I may as well just go find a reason to go get high lit. Just go to inspects early. Oh, this isn't yeah. too early. This is suspicious, though. Yeah, this is, this is double inspect one of these statues picking up a fingerprint off of it. So Jake... Looking to perhaps finish with those fingerprints. The blue bookcase fingerprints are now gone, unless the ambassador still has a book, which they don't. So, nothing there. We don't actually pick up the fingerprint on the statue. It doesn't look like Jake was aware. Yeah, so we're on. We're already in small men danger time. If we request a drink here, banana bread covering purloin, uh, it's already hard to take the shot, and then Jake has the potential of even dancing. Banana bread. Us too. Uh, he yeah, times he the banana bread well. Line, it's white. white. It's Will kind of behind the conversation. Zero Doom's taking low lights while Toby stands up, so it's very hard to our see. Cover, our cover's who, gone. Who our cover's gone. Oh, okay. The shot's gone. Oh, no, I want to stress. The, the scary thing there, and he did dance in the last few seconds, is Cowboy was the majority of our cover, and he moved out of the way. Um, that being said, it looks like the Perlin was just missed, or he thought it was green if uh, Orange Dress did it reject early. With Banana Bread Perloins, that's two missions in your face. You are often to shoot. Yeah, I mean, I think mostly it was just the fact that while Toby was kneeling, Zero Doom was taking low lights. Because Toby kneeling is the biggest tell that Smallman's purloining in the game, but... Zero Doom saw neither the kneel nor the stand back up, and so thought this must be the spy that uh, just purloined, referring to Orange Dress, and makes the wrong shot. Yeah, I think uh, a, a large thing that's not mentioned enough is timing the banana bread with the purloin. So he did the request, he did the banana bread, and then the actual purloin happened within a few seconds of uh the banana bread we do see situations where toby's standing there for eight nine seconds while you get a really long white banana bread uh jake doing the micro and the macro there yeah absolutely doing that uh you know timing that contact well even though it was a white in fact i think it might have kind of had to been a white if that timing was to work out any better so perhaps Jake betting on the, or, you know, going intentionally to a white contact just to say, okay, I don't trust myself to hit a green to time it better, so here comes a white, so I can time it, so I can, so I can you know, generally time it well. Now we're on to Courtyard, the, the venue of one hard tell wins. Fingerprint being uh, the honorary hard tell, which it often is. Um, with... <laughs> I wish. Yeah, so I mean, there there are ways to make it a less of a hard tell, right? You do difficult on your fingerprints. You frame someone with the swap and hope they don't see the uh, the animation, the fade. Uh, you get a green purloin. 
potentially with a reject chain before or if you're lucky after you. Banana bread. Uh, bug, not really ever going to be uh, a soft tail, but you can do some really nice bugs on courtyard. Um, there's there's ways that you can make the hard tail not brutally hard, both in a sense that it's you doing an animation, but also just you can do easy tails. Yeah, Purloin probably is one of the more viable hard tells, surprisingly enough, on this venue, comparatively to a lot of other venues. Uh, just because if you do a Purloin in the right spot, where you think, alright, you know, this statue visitor has just, uh, just rejected, or this statue visitor, if it's a green, will have to either reject or take, which means that I can get away with less suspicion for it, that is probably one of the better ways to get a Purloin buy and to get a Spy win buy on Courtyard. The um, other option, and I don't think Zero Doom's a particular uh, believer in it, is Time Ad. Time Ad's surprisingly good on this map. Uh, Ambassador takes a drink, we are not requesting, we're not playing for Frank Prince. We're not playing for anything right now, we don't have the Banana Bread or the Inspects, let alone the Hardtail. Yeah. Zero Doom looking around, probably trying to figure out maybe who to frame, perhaps. It is a consideration that a spy must make. Is there a good target to go and frame this game? We do go and pick up those inspects, so... We've also picked up the fingerprintable statue. I don't think we ever actually looked at this statue. Uh, also, we're not taking the fingerprint. This is the second time we've seen this game where spies have picked up a fingerprintable statue and not taken the mission for whatever reason. Yeah, it's Zero Doom... Path. Doing a bit of a weird, yeah, weird path there, and you said he wasn't a believer in it, but here comes that green time ad from Zero Doom. Yeah, but this is more by obligation than anything, in my opinion. Uh, General did actually check his watch at exactly the same time as us, but with the green, the red. that's less potent. You can actually frame someone with the watch check if you're not careful. Yeah, I think a purlo a green purloin here into a statue visit uh, and kind of force the sniper to watch for the late swap would have been great, but it is risking it all on a green test. Zudum has been hitting quite a few greens this set, but does not appear to want to go for it. In the meantime, Jake has to hold his shot. Yeah, without the inspect, the obvious play is just go get the other inspect, and then because you're here already, go swap. Uh, this has to be stressful for Jake, he's going to be getting slow beeping for all of this. Uh, it really doesn't make holding your shot harder. Safety off? Was there a safety off? No, it, uh, he just relit his uh, double agent. So the swap comes off, it's going to be really important who picks it up. Someone like Taft, for example. Ooh, we do a little bit of a bug path from Jake's perspective, it was going to be hard for Jake to see that. Okay, I think this is known over time. You... We're bugging. Wow. Five wow. missions. Wow, that's, am that's amazing. Yeah, over, time, over time starts beeping, and uh, Jake has no idea. Uh, he takes a shot on someone at statues. I mean, the statue, I think, might have swapped by the, the time that he shot, but he shortcuts the overtime with the bug while Jake is uh, over rotating, trying to watch two swaps at once. Really good. Uh, just laser play there. Yeah, Zero Doom on top of that, it can be a very, very strong strategy to, you know, make that overtime come before the sniper expects it, you know, before the, the swap could even come off. In that case, it was pretty close, so I'm not sure if it's really something that quite worked as intended from Zero Doom there, but it does force a red. little bit of less time for Jake to make that decision even once the swap does come off. So this is a situation as Jake, I would actually be kind of afraid of getting high lit. Uh, we're a twin, we did a really weird path, and then we were on camera with the talking banana bread. Um, if someone goes and highlights you just for being the talking twin, uh, he would have been a good suspect. The actual reality is, I think, uh, Zero Doom would probably just highlight for inspects. Yeah, it's hard not to just highlight for inspects on courtyard. <laughs> Um, unless you're very used to having varied reasons for your highlights. Which honestly not many players are. Yeah, everything's going well here. We've got our flirt started nice and quick. Uh, weird little path, I don't think that's gonna be considered AI-like. 
The question is, does Zero Doom know enough to think that's not AI-like? And yeah, not I mean, many people are pathing snipers, to be fair. It's powerful. If you can get like the really obvious bounces, uh, baby's first pathing lowlights, uh, this isn't necessarily a map that you get them every time. Like pu on pub, for example, it's really valuable because you just get two low lights out of your 12 person party. That's a bug. That's a yeah. That's a bug, and it actually kind of got hidden by the SDA and doesn't seem to have been noticed by Zero Doom. Yeah, uh, this could be game winning. We are doing the fingerprint, which is unusual. Typically, in the situation, you would just do the inspects um, and the problem with doing fingerprint is actually the most available fingerprint is on a statue which if you're doing that you're doing five missions yeah it's just not necessary and could get you shot even though you get the bug by ambassador going to another statue we're actually if we're going to try to finish with statues we actually have to be careful not to go on uh, to one with fingerprints uh, Jake maybe needs to be on that or else could just get shot for the fingerprints and the inspects. Here we go, into statues. This is not fingerprintable to my knowledge, so this is the correct move from Jake here. Yeah, uh, and he had to do this. Um, Ambassador moved from the statues uh, next to the briefcase, so you couldn't pick up comfort under his feet. Now we're just doing the inspect, but since the bug was free in its courtyard, this looks like a win. Yeah, Jake managing to keep it even despite the spy win from Zero Doom on Courtyard. 3-3 now in the set, which Zero Doom does win on a tie. Courtyard, an interesting double to pick. Usually we see Courtyard coming later in sets when the favorites kind of wants a solid venue to lock it up, at least in a higher level play. but as a doubled venue, it can be kind of hard not to just split. Yeah, I've asked them, uh, because Jake was getting a bit skatey and we've had issues previously, um, I've, I'm offering him the idea, and I think they're immediately taking it, of doing the mid, uh, the mid session split, just to, um, uh, just to get the client reset. I think uh, it's gotten worse and worse as the, uh, as the games have gone on previously in Jake's sets. Yeah, and worse and worse as a as any single game has gone on as well. Uh, we've noticed it's kind of, it's just a really unfortunate I think side effect of the patch, the most recent patch that Checker has pushed out. Um, because we did not see any of it before the patch, it also is caused by lag, but it's kind of different than any other lag we've seen before. It's just a really weird thing that happens in some games this this patch, and it's pretty annoying to deal with unfortunately for both players but hopefully this restart should help alleviate that as the set goes on yeah uh the other reality is it's just gonna happen every game and the longer the games go the more we're gonna notice it but i figured may as well uh offer the suggestion here while we're watching uh we're still in courtyard uh it's three three which is a zero doom uh advantage not a lead but an advantage because he wins the tie break the longer the set goes and uh, if it's still tied they're going to be happier and happier playing queen here with uh search target being one of the twins and really far away yeah the, the thing is with being with being a higher seed in these sets if you can get even one spy game advantage or you know break that serve somehow then it can be extremely strong because not only does the lower seed have to bring it back to even, but then they also have to take the lead themselves, which is just so much leeway for the higher seed if they can get if they can make that break serve happen. So Zero Doom is definitely looking to okay, here's a split. Uh Jake, again though, doesn't really do those low lights for for being out of conversation. So Zero Doom maybe not doing enough research on their opponent. We saw it earlier, did not take the early BB on Gallery, and instead waited on it. There was a play this there earlier uh, that split. I enjoyed. Uh, Zero Doom, in one conversation, sees the Ambassador arrow on the other side of the map and requests the drink, hoping that the Ambassador had just taken a drink uh, because the tearing statue was in the way. Now we got our banana bread, we got 51% flirt. We're gulping the drink, which 
is important. It is necessary for us to be able to do bugs, inspects, purloin potentially here if we can get maybe a reject from Twin. It's less valuable now. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to find that hard tell. As always, it's Courtyard. It's the Courtyard script. There's a reason we have a script for Courtyard, and that's because it's very, very seamy the whole time around. Um, I, for some people, that means I, it's I, comfortable. I just, I just disagree with that statement, but uh, that's because I know what a difficult print is. Um, <laughs> yeah, d uh, even difficult prints on uh, on courtyard. What is this? Zero Doom I, has Zero Doom two floors in every single game. No, there was there was the second gallery game. He did not two floors. Every other game, this like the, every other spy game, Zero Doom has two flirted. That's gotta be that. Like, it's not the most consequential thing in the world. That's gotta feel good. If we had taken the purloin in there, like we could have finished without moving, because the the twin came back to us, and then we would just need to summon the ambassador, which clearly Zero Doom's got the power. Uh, he does do the inspects correctly. He gets the left one first. Uh, Taft does not screw him out of inspect. We're not we swapping. Yeah, we don't and... do the swap here, interestingly enough. And we don't pick up the. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. It's legitimate. Small men died. We all know that's the correct shot. Um, I just like so seeing it. So so Jake's sniper is a little bit laggy uh, on the spectation side, so I just didn't... I, I was watching the snipe, the spectation sniping, but like, I just didn't see the safety come off ever, and then suddenly the game ended. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, so didn't, I didn't catch what he got shot for, unfortunately. He Another was at statues and... That's fair enough. Uh, another 51% floor here. These guys are pretty loose. Um, Phantom Swap. It has to be, right? Yeah, that, that I, I, yeah, that's got to be a Phantom Swap from Zero Doom. And honestly, even if you think it was a swap, at least give the, you know, give the spy the opportunity to finish the game, right? I These feel guys like have been incredibly rapid fire with the through the picks and bands. No, not watching the replays. Uh. This break to set up the missions on high rise is going to be the biggest break they have. Actually, we gave him a big break because I told Jake to reset his client. So, um, this is not surprising for me. I think they uh, they're playing here, not necessarily to win, but to go go do whatever they want to do after they play spy party. Sometimes. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> Actually, everybody's playing to win. Let's be real. Uh, this this is bronze on the line. Uh, not directly. They need to win one game after this, but you have to win this to have that opportunity. Yeah. Stepping into high rise. This is Zero Doom's first single pick. Uh, I think Zero Doom is pretty comfortable on. We didn't get high lit for a potential bug there, but it was a bit awkward. Uh, now we're just at an innocent bookcase. A lot of things are going to be innocent here. Uh, we can just go to any bookcase and there's nothing other than maybe a flirt or a fingerprint. Uh, statues are less suspect, drink takes are just AI. AI like. Maybe try That's to not take a bad. That's a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were worried there for a second now, weren't you? That's cheeky. Oh That's yeah, I, I I really like cheeky plays like that uh, on bigger venues. On high rise, it can be a little bit hard to pull off. Although when in the briefcase is all the way over there on that right side, because it's three of five, because they don't have to memorize those statues over there, sniper does not tend to like to rotate all the way over and can miss things on that side of the venue. So it's it's very possible that Zero Doom currently has a fingerprint that was completely missed. Yeah, the uh, interesting thing is Ambassador has a drink right now, which means we could have actually gotten two fingerprints if we were uh, really on it. We're requesting this could a drink be now. Is difficult? No, I don't, I don't think it's difficult, is it? I don't. Oh, it is difficult. Oh, it is. Red test. But, it, but we read test, yeah. For uh, Zero Doom and Jake here, they've been hitting so many greens that uh, when it comes to the one that has a different bar, mm, Ambassador, go away. We're gonna immediately start talking. I like that a lot. We start talking as soon as the ambassador comes up next to us, which kind of assures Jake, okay, this character hasn't bugged. Because Jake would see if we bugged, the talk animation break 
And that's a really, really nice way to say, look at me, I'm not bugging and not being obvious about it. Zero Doom on top of what it could look like if the ambassador just stands there. Yeah, Jake doesn't actually have any highlights or lowlights while beyond the ambassador. Uh, which on high rise, I feel like you should be using it for something, if not in specs for flirts. And we've definitely seen in specs. We took the. Uh, and here comes another difficult fingerprint. It is just in specs, but this is uh, this is another difficult. This is a really old difficult too. And the ambassador takes one. another drink, by the way. There we yeah, go. But it, does, it doesn't matter. We hit the green on this one. We could just finish with a contact and a flirt at this point, and presumably yeah, the... a green flirt. The benefit of ending with the contact is we are cutting short the uh, the inspects and he'll wait for the second inspect potentially, not realizing the fingerprint. Uh, the benefit of not doing a banana bread is it's really hard to shoot for a silent game. Don't get two greens, the immediate talk is on camera. Uh, there's not too much to watch here. Yeah, it could be an issue. Zero Doom does not have that, you know have the mission progress to complete quite yet. 40 seconds left on the clock, could go for statues, could for the go for the contact. Both the are available. The other inspector does go back to statues, but it's the same statues as previously. Oh We're no. Gonna take them out with the banana bread anyways. Banana bread. We might get shot for this anyways. Yeah, yes, that's just a shot. And I'm not sure if Jake was on top of the fingerprints or it was the fact that the uh, instant talks into both conversations and then a contact coming off after the second one. I, I, I don't think Jake liked that. Jake is the type of player to shoot for those things. but Yeah, I, I'm proud with Jake's play, and we've seen more of it here, especially with the Tim placement. He's not been cagey about putting a bullet into someone for behavioral. Um, he just instinctually has an idea of you're, uh, you're the bad guy, and he's not making the mistake of not shooting people he knows this by. Yeah, that can be an issue if you're waiting for that confirmation to be like, all right, I shoot you now, even though I know you're the spy long before. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of a balance though, right? You you want to be saving your shot just in case you are wrong sometimes. But on the other hand... Oh, as we saw with the Phantom Swap. Yes, as we saw with the Phantom Swap. On the other hand, as you mentioned, that, you know... I know you're the spy, I'm going to shoot you now, can be very strong if perhaps you've missed something. So there is that balance. You don't want to shoot too fast, but if you know they're the spy, you're certain, sometimes it's better just to take that shot, even if you don't have that full mission count yet. I mean, that's the world I live in, and I'm going to be the only person in Diamond who uh, doesn't shoot for just mission completions, because everybody else, it's a very much a, the elite players count their missions. Um, yeah, and that's we the thing about are the doing actually players. the most typical high rise start, uh, which is just timer flirt. Uh, high rise has enough time where you can get away with timer flirt uh, yeah. pretty regularly. For sure. In fact, I think it starts with more time than ballroom does. Uh, uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, we it's have to close. add more time because adding more people gets really awkward. <laughs> Uh, especially around the uh, area between the left side and the right side, like that, that gap that now Rocker and Boots are kind of in. Yeah, yeah. I know. Toby's just hanging yeah, out there. Uh, pathing can get a little bit weird around that area if you add too many characters for sure. Which means uh, highlights does have a lot of time. We've just finished Flirt. It, it took two minutes, but we're there. Yeah, uh, but. Disney loves it. Uh -oh. Boots? No, what are you doing? Uh -oh. Boots? She hasn't talked. She hasn't uh -oh. done it. Now she's talking. Ah! Oh no. Zero Doom. Zero Doom thought that perhaps Boots had bugged there, it looks like. And because of that, unfortunately, takes the shot. Boots had, what, one fingerprint, one statue visit, and uh, just, a just after that, kind of bug, bug suspicion, I suppose. Yeah, on that same topic that we are just talking about, when you're shooting for mission completion, when someone's got one whiskey, one beer, one bourbon, they're drunk, but they're not necessarily the spy. You can wait till they do a second inspect. You can wait till they do a second print. Um, the problem is you just know that they've been doing a lot, and you're not necessarily counting each particular mission. I rise if you're going to be counting uh, who's doing actual missions, is probably the best place to start. Uh, you have less people to deal with in a smaller map. 
We're on to Ballroom here, and Jake's taken actual a lead in this set, which we haven't seen. It's been a lot of ties here just throughout the set. Zero Doom starting on the small man. Yeah, it looks like Zero Doom made the same contract that Jake did earlier. Unfortunately, it's not as strong as a venue. On the other hand, I, it's not I as, on, I as strong as I, I think Smallman's as good. Uh, the, he doesn't the, the garner big, as much suspicion, is the thing. He doesn't for no good reason. So the only reason that you have to worry about Smallman more in gallery than ballroom, in my opinion, is the dance is quite powerful. Um, but the amount of cover that you can get, Zero Doom's not particularly taking it at the moment. But you can get a ton of cover, and more importantly, in a lot of different places. Uh, gallery, it's just the back of that uh, that conversation that you're really worried about most of the time. That's true. Ballroom uh, does have a lot of different ways you can get cover, especially as one of those shorter characters. And this is the shortest character. We could see a lot oh, of... Oh, really? The guy we call Small Man. <laughs> Perhaps. That might actually be the case. Yes, Zero looking around the party looking for maybe someone to frame wheels has gone to center statues does a two cycle so zero doom as has probably pearls. wants to uh yes as has pearls zero doom probably wants to keep those in for contact yeah uh wheels gonna do a boat path um we're on the move here uh we need to get our flirt done I... we we're just next to the ambassador kind of casually Jake we're did not a really good job there, so he needed to rotate over to see the uh, the swap, and he did it a real quick to make sure that if Zero Doom was bugging, he wasn't giving him the two seconds to do so. Uh, he was able to check the swap and not <laughs> bug. He, these guys, and it's particularly I think Zero Doom is using the uh, the pay DLC of uh, mind control, and it's not fair. Mind control and always green your flirts. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 kind of necessary for Zero Doom to be greening his flirts right now. Oh no! That was visible. That's visible. Are we gonna watch it? We're not gonna watch it. Uh, Banana Bread might get a shot. Banana Bread. We're watching it. Um, yeah. So the problem with that bug, the first bug on the way into conversation for Zero Doom, was that he triggered the bug going into conversation, but he walked and he took a position that was too far away in the conversation for the for the bug to land, and that timing just did not work out for Zero Doom. So we had to take the standing bug afterwards. Now we have 50 seconds left. We need to find one more mission. Route one would be just go to middle statues. Uh, I would suggest the back statues because. Uh, ambassador We're doing the middle statue. On the other I actually one. wait. Hold on. I like this. this there's a lot a of cover. This, wait, there's a lot of cover for this. Put this yeah, down. Yeah, we're not Put being a pilot, and that the highlight's gonna be the big tell if we're even acknowledged back there. Yeah, this is this is what makes Sol Smallman so strong. You just don't ever see him at that and statue. This look, and this looks like a white swap. So, big boy general is gonna swap it. He did a really short pass. We'll need to rotate over and shoot Smallman for it. The rotate happens. We've seen the swap, but we did never saw Smallman. Yeah, we never saw Smallman at the statue, and that's actually kind of one of my favorite plays to do on Ballroom. When you got that cover back there, and you're playing a shorter character, go grab that statue, do a quick swap, and walk away. Zero Doom not, you know, following etiquette in this case, but still managed to make that play happen just because of all the cover, all of the amba you know, the ambassadors at that center statue, General was covering us up, and that means that. Uh, you know, Zero Doom is able to take the spy win and, you know, trying to find his first sniper win, actually, to even up the set. Really? Yeah, it's it's been a weird set, Po Noob. Normally, you think, all right, they need to find How that first spy, spy win. How many spy been in the whole... Um, however many games there have been, minus one. So I'm going to say... Oh jeez. Uh, eight. Eight spy wins currently. Do we know the record for uh, most spy wins? I feel like it happened. It's not been too it's long no, ago. no, no. It it almost happened not too long ago. It's it's like ten nine or ten or something like that. This is a longer set, um, because we could go up to sixteen. Obviously if they're just trading spy wins, uh it will end up being close. Uh both players need three and at this, this point, do you say that you actually would rather be just in general playing Spy in this set right now? Given the yes? way it's gone so far? I mean, personally, no, because I feel like... I, oh, I, I, saw, I, I saw your set against Yish. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that, that one feel. that one could not look more different from this one. Ten sniper wins in a row versus, you know, almost all spy wins. <laughs> Uh, in, the, in this case, Jake gets the early highlight for in center inspects, goes to another center statue afterwards to pick up a flirt with their ST. Yeah, Jake uh, said last time when we did interview, I believe in a turnout set, so week one, uh, that he does enjoy going to middle statues, especially in the challenger uh, division, uh, just because he felt like most people were not actively watching their highlights as much as they should be. Uh, which is interesting, because in my mind, if you're highlight, it's really hard to do a hard tell. Jake has not found that to be true. Yeah, and uh, look at this. Oh no, oh no. Uh, there is a number on screen that... I th uh, oh, you know, the Tobo of... percent. <laughs> yeah, oh, there it is. We call it the Tobo percent, because Tobo, uh, no matter where he is, if you get 99% and we're setting ourselves up for failure, um, he gets uh, buzzed by a taser. Um, it's... He has a little shock collar, um, and you hurt him every time. It's like killing an angel. Uh, we love Tobo, so don't do it. Yeah, um, uh, just green the flirt. Just green the flirt. Please. Knowing these guys, uh, I'd be kind of surprised if we don't green the flirt. Yeah, earlier we saw Jake actually kind of, you know, miss the briefcase a little bit. You had to walk away a little bit faster than he did. Unfortunately, the lag is kind of making that hard for Zero Doom to see. Yeah, we might so, do another... I think the reset did help him there. And I All right, just, uh... we just green the flirt. It's okay. Yeah, I like how Jake doesn't care. Uh, if, it, if he has a laggy client, it never shows. He just continues to hit greens. We're not purloining here, and that's interesting. It would have actually been if we hit a green lining up towards Twin as the next one. Yeah, Zero Doom is looking for the, the purloin very heavily, though. Ambassador's not super safe. Is kind of safe, but... You know, zoomed all the way in on that list. We're setting up another uh, banana bread covering purloin here. We've requested the drink. The banana bread banana is bread. green, but we're actually talking, and we're going to get oh, a shot for... Yeah, no, there, there was just no doubt in Zero Doom's mind, it looks like there. And Zero Doom takes his first sniper win of the set and evens it right back up at 5-5. Five and five. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm, I'm telling them they can do one more client. Because it's just, uh, it seems like uh, every three games or so it starts starts ticking. Um, and conveniently, it's close. Uh, if uh, it hadn't been close, this wouldn't be necessary. But uh, we actually got another uh, another shot, and that's nice. It's a change in pace. Yeah, definitely. It looks like they're kind of finding their ground as far as, you know, what, what the enemy spy is going to be doing and, you know, what they need to be doing as Sniper to catch them, finding their their sea legs, as it were, as we step into Aquarium. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a pity if Jake has to reset his client every two games, but uh, Aquarium is going to be back to being somewhere where these dominant spy performances, especially with the amount of greens they're hitting, and their uh, eye for bugs are probably still going to be spy biased in the in this context. We are going to have library as the last set, and um, unless Zero Doom wins both of those, we're going to end up at least playing a game there. That I would say is probably still sniper biased, but these guys have been changing expectations. It's loading up here, and uh, here we go. We got Irish, we got Bottom Shark. Yep, yeah, Bottom Shark could get an early flirt with our ST. No, never mind. ST doesn't want to stay. It's fine. ST doesn't want to stay under the shark is what, I, is what my, my meaning was. We could have just taken a flirt and then just run away. This time we're not going to two-flirt. <laughs> okay, 34%. Uh, th this is new for Zero Doom. We'll see how he handles adversity. And uh, there's been enough bar visits that the early purloin would probably be justified. Uh, I've definitely seen more. Aquarium, you got plenty of time, but you do need to use it eventually. Um, if you do just stand around for a while, you can just put yourself in a bit of a bind. Mainly because you can't do inspects immediately. Uh, the, the big things that you can do that immediately are back statues or the purloin and just immediately take and hope that your body cover covers the uh, the crime. 
Yeah. Uh, with the purloin, though, you do. There, Toby does have a different animation. Does not pull back the list after the uh, after the drink take if the purlo You know, if the list has been taken. Can't see so. Toby's animation if it's behind the shark, Toby. Yeah, but you can you, you can know what is what his triangles doing, and that tells you just enough you need to know. Yeah, I learned uh quite recently um, that middle shark happens on the 40s. These are things that Yaren bothered to tell me after I played him in Aquarium, which is nice of him. Uh, that's assuming that you don't time add, which is why it's not applicable to any of my play, because I've already time added twice in this game. Uh, <laughs> instead, uh, we got low shark and we got a bug, and this is... That's just not visible, is it? Yeah, you just have to take it, honestly. If they're watching it uh, and catch like the lower part of your lean or... Uh, or yeah, something like so, good so form, the thing is, but... with that lean, it's very hard red. to see, right? Just because the the hair and the angle kind of blends into the ambassador's suit right now, uh, as far as that goes, which is honestly really... I, I don't know if that was planned from Zero Doom, but if it was, it's very, very strong. Yeah, he was also maximum range. He was at that range where the ambassador doesn't get kicked out, what I call the gold. The golden bug. Uh, this I is just a direct pearl line. This is, yeah, this is just a direct. We do get high lit. Huh. Yeah, we weren't so, in for real, and I'm not sure if Jake knows that. We're, we're framing somewhat. So we did the banana bread into purloin, which kind of feels like a BB purloin delegate. Um, however, we're high lit. I think the bug might be the saving grace here. Uh, if we do another banana bread, it'll potentially just look like we're being framed. Yeah, because the, uh, the, you know, let's see. It's really easy to, uh, I mean, assume flirt, banana bread's been said, you were in conversation, that's like the easiest thing to ever do in a frame. You got yeah. delegated to, we're, ju we're just framing Irish. Ignore the bug. Just ignore the bug and Zero Doom can get another spy win. Yeah, um, the, the you say here. that, but the double agent is not being very friendly. Yep. Uh... Can't bug, go away ambassador, don't make us look more suspicious. Uh, if Double Agent doesn't come into a conversation here now... Oh, they're doing briefcase! Uh, Zero Doom getting juked out. Uh, it might need to be back statues or... Well, we can't do Purloin. Um, it probably swap. And we're probably gonna die for it. Oh, the, the Double Agent, come on, no! <laughs> we need to move now, or time add. No, we're just talking here, it's not gonna do anything. Zero Doom, don't, don't throw away the game, you've been doing so well. Come on, oh, come double on. agent, double agent comes into our conversation. Here comes the contact, but it's after 10 seconds. This is gonna be a lot of room. overtime. Here comes the contact, but nine seconds of overtime. Holy <laughs> nine seconds. Wow. The so, double agent bails us out and Duke gets shot. That couldn't have been more tense. So I think maybe a different player goes, oh no, this double agent. They've they've ruined me, and we've already seen that. We saw that in uh, game ones and two on uh, on gallery for both players. Uh, in this case, the otherwise AI mind control that Zero Doom has uh, downloaded for the DLC has paid off. And unlucky for Jake, they didn't have the shot in mind. Was not willing to shoot the person he saw take the the list, because who takes the list? That's a weird thing to do. That's uh, that's an AI's job for a spy to delegate. Yeah, and I think all of that idling really paid off for Zero Doom uh, in the end there, just because there was no, you know, they, they did not think, all right, this this person done done more after the purloin. It's probably just an AI. And despite the fact that the sh the the person that uh, Jake ended up shooting was not in a conversation with an SDA, despite the fact that. The contact comes and the overtime happens. I I think Jake just wasn't ready for that to happen, and wasn't thinking straight. I think it's is that high pressure situation where you think, oh god, who is the spy? I'm not sure. And you take the shot on one of your highlights, but if you take a little bit longer to consider, and you, again, you don't have much time to consider, so it's hard to take a little bit longer to consider. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know, not the shot you want to take. We're at a point where Zero Doom is at match point, and just looking at the end of the Jake's season, I'm not sure the results are necessarily what you'd expect. So, he beat Tabsies, um, and Tabsies has been doing very well since. 
Um, he lost a turnout, but then beat Wodar, and I would say Wodar would generally be considered the harder. Uh, we get highlight here in an assume real uh, situation. It's a very assume real. He's also low lighting another conversation. Um, this might also just be related to the purloin. I think he knows um, where Seek came from on this one. Huh. Yeah, that that's interesting. That's a weird way to catch purloin. Uh, not necessarily mechanically, but just because it, that's not usually what we see. Do not take the reverse drive by for good reason. That laser's just come over and said hi to us as soon as ambassador came by. Uh, there's a lot of thought. You can just see it in, J uh, in Zero Doom's laser. Um, he's really trying to figure out. I think it's a tense situation because the purloin and the banana bread. Um, but he doesn't need to shoot necessarily unless he's worried about a hard tell. Ambassador going to middle. Uh, ah, middle Zero Doom. Terrible. Noticing a, an anti tell by Oprah there. I was wondering if he was going to low light for that. I was just about to bring it up. Oprah was re consist consistently resetting her idle animation in conversation with the briefcase. Spies have no way to do that, obviously. And uh, so that's an anti tell that you, know, you can just immediately low light for. And Zero Doom, on top of it, has the game knowledge, does in fact notice it happening, and takes a low light on a previous, hi previous highlight. Can we buy one more green, Jake? Uh, it looks like he's committing to the timer flirt, and we're only at 51%. Or uh -oh. JK. Nope. Uh, Zero Doom just wants to play more Spy Party. We're going 7-7. Seven, seven. A Boots shot there. Another talk from Boots uh, getting her shot. This is a second sh uh, shot for, for flirting Boots. And uh, I think it's just her talking animation is just too noticeable. I think that uh, Zero Doom was a bit worried there. About the bug, perhaps? With Aquarium, uh, any time the Ambassador just goes behind the shark, you just got to be suspicious that someone, maybe not the spy necessarily, but at least someone at some point probably could have bugged from that spot um, with Purloin, Banana Bread, and then clearly, clearly flirting. Um, the shot seems justified. Obviously not the correct shot. Okay, uh, this is where it's a question, right? What's more powerful, the sniper bias of library or the fact that these spies are incredibly dominant? Uh, this isn't going to be the match that really decides that. Zero Doom can lose this and still win on the sniper side. And it's a full Jake fashion. Every single set that Jake does has got to be coming down to the last map in this tournament placement. That's a bug. It's on camera. This could be quick. Yeah, it could be, or it could not be, as we don't get highlight or highlight or shot at all for it. So Zero Doom could have just gotten away with that mission. Ambassador, go away. We don't need you anymore. Don't frame us. We'll do it ourselves. Uh, Banana Bread, just the left side of the conversation is not looking particularly juicy, but we are prepared for it. Um, we do also have the option of doing a furloin here, though I don't advise it. Yeah, Zero Doom has not, you know, has been effectively resisting the call of the Toby that some of us fall to fall prey to sometimes. Yeah, this has just been really solid play from Zero Doom. Uh, he's been playing, not taking those like in, in those impulsive choices, while still not necessarily putting himself in timeout. I think in part because he's been hitting so many greens on the flirts. Um, beyond that gallery game, in the gallery game he got a bit unlucky and then uh, he got a bit lucky later in the game, so it all evens out. Um, the better player usually wins the set in, in the end because we just play so many games. Yeah. That's a Ooh, randy white this, swap. Yeah, we're, this is a white swap. We're putting it right back down and I don't think we're ever going to be seen here at this statue. Yeah, so we were at this pad, we took the swap. We need to we walk back, back over to the, the other side of the venue, It doesn't though. even look like uh, Jake ever came over here. Now we're walking away from it. I think, actually, if anybody's going to get suspicious, it's still going to be us. Yeah, just because we were the literally the only person over there at the time. Oh, That's... we red test. I think this is in part, so this is, happens to me a lot. When you are really trying to hit greens, and Zero Doom clearly has, he's been hitting them at a very high rate. Um, it means you also want to try and hit the greens that are on the edge of the bar. And that means you end up with actually a bit more red tests than uh, a player who's being a bit more conservative. Who's less likely to hit greens, but and it also just doesn't hit uh, red tests because they're, they're not risking it for the biscuit. Yeah, for sure. 
Zerudum unfortunately does not have any of that flirt progress now because of it. But we do have two hard tells done. We're going to get this flirt off at statues, hopefully. No. no! We got there a little bit too late. We wait. We hold it for too long. And now we're just going to get the inspects. No flirt. Yeah, we've been frames off here. Uh, Are we going to be two of these statues? Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. All three statues are the same. It, it, if you remembered it that way, uh, I'm concerned for you. If you look at the statues, actually, uh, five of the six are now uh, the, the well, two statue, the Venus. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm sure that we should see someone shoot uh, Damon here in a bit, right? Except swaps have already been done, so... Unfortunately, not able to do that. We do see a time ad from Zero Doom wondering about the, that reference I just made. Uh, I, do like likes the, I, I do like the argument that Damon was the uh, the closest to the swap, so it probably was him. Uh, but we did actually split the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, uh, we got a minute 36. Um, if the swap has even been noticed, uh, then it's a bit tense, but still... No banana bread's been said. There's no reason to shoot just yet. Zero Doom on the talk and runs. Oh just no, that was on earlier. screen. That was on screen and just shot for it. Shot for it. Zero. Just Jake does not care. He will just shoot you for it. Done. I've I've seen some players have decided that this is a thing this season. Flappy Davis punished all of Platinum over and over again for it. Um, yeah. Stop talking runs. While all you're doing is a flirt, are shootable. It's, it's a tell. Uh, it's a, it's a very big tell. Um, this puts us at match point. Uh, sudden death, if you will. Uh, winner takes all. So best yeah. of luck to our players. And, uh, in this set, we, we, with, with how, you know, how many spy wins we've been seeing, do we even favor zero do at this point? No. <laughs> I think uh, I think I would take Jake slightly, maybe like 55, 45, or 6-4, um, just based on the way the spies have been going. Uh, we just haven't seen the sort of things to just get spies to job for free. They haven't been doing uh, white purloins, for example. Um, we're getting Ooh. pilot here, and that's brutal. We didn't time add, I promise. That's spicy. Uh, so th <laughs> this looks like actually. <laughs> my highlights against each since we're bringing that one up in this in this conversation uh the early window flirt on on library looks like zero doom's doing a little bit of pairing himself noticing perhaps a trend uh but you know i i don't think zero doom has actually done that much research if he had he would not have done that talk that that talk you know flirt run away move he did last game because he knows he, or should know that jake just likes to shoot for it I think Jake has just played tabsies enough to not want to have to deal with the uh, the tomfoolery and the bamboozling. Uh, you got to play a real game, and that's why I think Daredevil's been having so much success. Is he's been playing a very solid game beyond the stop talking. Yeah. Unfortunately for Zero Doom, had those two hard tells didn't get didn't convert the spy win because of the uh, being rude Bug. thing. Oh. It's, it's not on screen, so it's not that big camera. of a deal. Yeah, it, there's actually very little guarding of the ambassador going on here from Zero Doom. Lots of time the ambassador was off screen right there. Jake could have easily taken a bug. Yeah, we're not. Mm. Oh, that bug is completely be, visible. Be... He's, he's <laughs> taking on it. Zero um, Doom shakes his laser over Jake, probably going to die for literally anything we do now. The quick talk is not helping. Yeah. Go away, Zero Doom. Lots and lots of Wait, suspicion. I just don't see any AI getting shot ever right now. Yeah, it's it's really hard to force a shot on library, and things like doing a cheeky reject behind a pillar on, for, for purloin are just not going to be possible with this much heat. Yeah, and even if you try to like lose that heat, it, it's so hard with two minutes left and the bread. to get this. We we weren't in conversation. I promise, boss. We were most definitely not conversation, and we're most definitely not finishing here with inspect swap. Don't need to shoot us. Uh, uh, Zerdum's Zerdum actually spent a lot of time on the other side of the uh, yeah. map. And now he should see us at mill statues, and does he remember that we bugged in his face? We're white testing. It's coming to swap. Down. Ten seconds. Zero Doom is Zero not Doom. looking. He's Why looking at the, the venue. He's not going to take a shot. Oh three my seconds. god, three seconds left. He saw the bug. He, his he shook his laser, but it's not happening. Not enough suspicion in Zero Doom. 
somehow is not able to convert that bug into a sniper win, and Jake takes the set. Wow. Jake has put it down to, like, the last moment every game, but that's not the way I expected that to end. Zero Doom just really distracted, I think, by Toby, honestly. Um, or maybe a particular character, despite the fact that he clearly saw that bug. It was a wrong arm. It was a bit behind the pillar. I think it was more maybe the path than anything. The wrong arm was bad, though. <laughs> it yeah, made it was, the it arm come out wrong towards, arm the towards the sniper. The, the sniper. Um, he doesn't shoot for it, and he just gets punished in the worst way possible. Yeah, it, I, I thought for sure that Zero Doom had this set locked up with that bug, but... You know, that the early flirt, the early flirt highlight at Windows, the bug as a highlight right in the sniper's face, and still, Jake somehow doesn't die. I kid you not, I just hurt my jaw. Like, the, <laughs> ow. Uh, the, the, the Dropping the jaw too dropped. hard. <laughs> yeah, the jaw drop was so hard. I, I hurt earlier, but ow. Uh, finish this off, Opie. <laughs> Clean this out, unless we're doing interviews. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to ask if they want to do interviews. Jake needs one more. Oh uh, my god. We'll, 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 we won't find out who it's going to be for the... Uh, what is the lose-win-win bracket of uh, the tournament placement. Don't try and get me to explain uh, the the way it works. Alright. Uh, the way it will work is um, Jake... We're, we're hopping someone. into uh, headquarters, by the way, for let's, this interview. Let's do it. Hello, Zero Doom. Hey, Zero Doom. Howdy. <laughs> We're uh, still a little bit shocked about that last game. We thought for sure you had him on the ropes. <laughs> Can you kind of explain what was going through your head? That why why were you so distracted right at the end there? Um, I don't have a good reason for it. Just just flat out distracted. Um, yeah, I looked at the replay at the very end and I was like, oh shit, I I, I didn't even look at him over there. Yeah, so we were under the impression there, just based on a bit of laser shake afterwards, that you noticed the bug, at least in some extent. Yeah, uh, was I was like, I think that's a bug, and then I don't know, nerves. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's game 16. Uh, you guys oh, yeah. played I think actually some of the smoothest spy we've seen in a long time. I think both of you guys came out uh, really not showing any nerves. Maybe just because the stakes are being slightly lower than they had been, say, game one of this tournament. Um, it was not the necessarily the same on the sniping. I don't think the sniping was necessarily bad. You're just losing to really good spy play. It was ten spy wins in a row, if not mistaken. Well, not uh, we had we had eight out of the first ten, I believe, is what eight it out of the first ten. Oh, geez. Um, where I'm gonna ask Jake. I think now my favorite question I've been asking. At what point were you most nervous, there, Jake? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh man, that's a good question. But I was nervous the whole time, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, um, what's what it? was the what was the second last map again? Uh, uh you aquarium. Aqua yeah, okay, yeah, no aquarium. Aquarium spy, I think, was the I was the most nervous. Yeah, and uh, the the aquarium site was interesting. At that point, you guys had actually gotten a few sniper wins. Um, and it was really on the line, because Zero Doom had a couple match points there. Um, we were having discussions in regards to, because you guys are having so many spy wins, um, that when we got to Library, which is typically very sniper-biased, we weren't actually sure who was the favorite in any particular game. Yeah. That wasn't actually a question, that was just a statement. <laughs> the thing is, like, when I first started playing this game, uh, library is my least favorite map because as people on the twitch chat and past replays have complained about i always move my camera back and forth and i hate that you can't do that on library um, <laughs> but the more that i've played library uh, i actually really like it yeah um <clears throat> you might not be surprised to know that there was a little bit of complaining about it in twitch chat this match as well <laughs> nice. i'm glad i can um, tell you from your replays i also was like man he moves a lot I got an uh, ultra low motion blur monitor, you know, I gotta gotta use it. There's actually another player and it really annoys me. Um it's Slappy Davis. And you actually did have a couple of plays there that reminded me of Slappy. You were shooting for more or less just uh stop talks, like real rude flirts. Um was that something that you scouted out or just you're always capable of doing? That's like 
I'm always capable of doing in the sense that sometimes I notice it, but it's just kind of random what I do, I guess. Yeah, otherwise, it, just really good spy play. You guys were hitting a ton of greens in general. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, was was that something that you guys noted, or was it just like, yeah, just playing spy? I didn't really note it, but the only practice I did today uh, was I just went into spy practice and just did like 50 green tests or yeah, I, I mean, it looks like it paid off. Zero Doom in particular, I believe in the first three of his first four, you know, in three of his first four spy games, uh, no, green, just double green his alert, and that was insane. Every time. Yeah, uh, yeah I never do that. <laughs> uh, Zero Doom, um, I'm going to ask you a trick question. It's a bit of a trap, but did you feel like you had good AI luck or bad AI luck today? Um, there are a couple games where I literally wanted to throw my keyboard, but, uh, <laughs> some of the games went my way, but geez, that first gallery game. That, yeah, the first um, gallery game where the double agent split as the contact happened, then walked right back into conversation oh. as, as, as things timed out that <laughs> we were, we were, we were really uh, sad for you there. And Jake had something very, very similar, uh, did a very slow game into an end game rush on his first gallery game and his st just did the 20 second walk from inside to uh, from outside to inside and he could not get that last flirt and i think i might have blocked at the end too i wasn't 100 percent sure about but yeah uh there were a bunch of situations where the seduction targets just came straight to you zero doom we were we were uh, wondering if you have the paid DLC for the green tests and the, <laughs> the mind control and the, the seduction target. Uh, over here, I was totally looking at my ST and saying, come here, come here. Right <laughs> uh, so I guess we, I need to start adopting that strategy because it's it, it worked for you, at least in a lot of the games. Unfortunately, the double agents weren't as uh, as nice, except for that one aquarium game where. Yes, yes, I was oh, staring geez, at yeah. the DA. It, and it, like, it, it took him a while, but we got there. To come do a conversation. Yeah, you're a bolder man than I. I would have been in the back statues getting shot personally. Um, one last question there for you, Jake. At least for me. Maybe Opie has more zero doom. Uh, but uh, you've had a lot of close sets here recently. Is this something where you think it might be an advantage in the future, where you're just going to be more hardened than uh, most of the players you're going to be playing against in these uh, like playoff or tent situations? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like. I feel like I split maps a lot of the time, so <laughs> it just ends up being like that. But I don't really know why. And uh, yeah, to Zero Doom, uh, just to give you guys the stakes, if you weren't already uh, incredibly aware. Uh, Jake, you're going to be playing, uh, I don't know necessarily who, but you got one more game there and you're playing for bronze um, against whoever it is, because you've gone lost win-win. Uh, Zero Doom, uh, I believe you get to do an honorary game, and really, it's a bit of a pity, honestly. I think you've you played well enough, and he's uh, particularly on the spy side there. You had a very good set against uh, JD, and you just run into some very tough opponents, which is kind of the nature of the tournament. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm happy that uh, that SCL and the TOP is coming to an end. I'm sad it's kind of stops here for me, but I'm going to give my final game uh, my best as well. Just pick balcony. And, 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 <laughs> I and hate it balcony, slightly, dude. And it's slightly quicker. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that being said, anything else you want to add out there, OP? Any other questions? Uh, no, I think you covered all of it pretty well. Uh, thank you, Ponoob, for co-casting with me tonight. Thank you, Bear, for hosting. Thank you for Zero Doom and Jake for allowing us to cast and come in here for the interview afterwards. Yes, uh, especially and... Zero Doom. I know it's always a bit harder when you're uh, just come off the hard loss, but you guys are both. And Jake, we already know you're a good sport from uh, the first, the first game of the uh, tournament placement. But Zero Doom, I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, no, really. it's. I tied my first game, my first match, and my second two matches, I barely won with Inspect Swap at the very end. So this is like the most tense. Get a drink. <laughs> get, 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 get some iced tea in there. It's like, it's it's time. Uh, you get one more, and it's for all the marbles. So uh, that being said, uh, always as always, thank you to a bear. Uh, just as always, uh, just being on hand to be able to do in the host. And... Uh, just keep an eye out for other games. We're going to be probably doing some more casual, um, be it on this channel or uh, like Spy Party fans, maybe Dell's channel, in regards to just these 
cast during the week, and then obviously we'll have the casts for especially the big games on this uh, this weekend, uh, including things like the uh, third round of the 2-0 finishers. Uh, we got some diamond promotion match, Miran versus Magician, and uh, it's all going to be good fun, so just keep an eye out for things. Keep an eye on the Discord. Yeah, and that does it for our broadcast tonight. Thank you guys for watching, and good night. Cheers.